What's up, you guys? Shardim is Prime here doing another Hot Toys figure review on the Hot Toys Captain Harlock 2013 movie Space Pirate Captain Harlock MMS 222 Movie Masterpiece 1 6 scale collectible figure. I gotta give a big thanks to Sideshow Collectibles for making this review possible. Click the link in the description below if you're trying to pick yours up. You can find it over there. And this is a pretty cool looking packaging, I gotta say. I got a nice close up shot of Captain Harlock. By the way, there is another version of this that does include the Throne of Arcadia. So if you wanna see a review on that, you know my boy Sean Long's got a review of it up over there. So check that out. Link in the description also. Also, then we have some credits for the figure. Then you can lift this up over here, and you know, you always gotta do that Hot Toys plop down. Plop, there it goes. And we're gonna rotate it around, and boom. Then you can move this down, and you can see him in the case. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Captain Harlock out of the packaging, and this figure looks amazing, man. There's so many details on this outfit, and he comes with a lot of accessories, too. And me being a fan of Captain Harlock since the 70s cartoon show, no, nah, not really. Yeah, I just checked out the 2013 movie on Netflix. It's available right over there. It's very, very well done. CG animation looks incredible. Nice special effects. But anyway, let's take a closer look at the accessories that come with Captain Harlock, and then we'll take a closer look at Captain Harlock himself. Like all Hot Toys figures, I recommend you read the instructions before you really start messing with the figure. It shows you how to remove the cape, how to assemble the stand for Mr. Bird and whatnot. So read through this thoroughly, or you may break your figure. The figure comes with a standard issue Hot Toys stand and adjustable cradle, but it also comes with this extra clear piece over here, a couple of pieces anyway, but you can see that clear piece right there attached to the side of it then there's this clear rod going behind over there that goes all the way up into Mr. Bird. And there's this extra little piece that plugs into this rod that goes right into the culo of Mr. Bird. He is not articulated at all, as the instructions indicate, but it looks fantastic. A lot of nice paint detail. You can see that cool shadowing effect on his beak over there, and I like how the blue and black fades in and out throughout the figure. All the feathers are sculpted very, very well. It's a great looking piece, even those Mr. Bird tootsies look pretty nice. One thing I will say, I wish that the rod that Mr. Bird is perched up on was a little bit shorter, because it looks like he's hovering in the air when I have that rod standing flush with the display base. So when I move this sitting back over here, then it looks a little bit more like he's resting on his shoulder over there. So I think that looks best. Now the figure comes with six interchangeable hands. We get two open hands over here. We get these two relaxed hands and then we get one hand for holding the rapier and then the other hand holding for the gun. Now I really wish that they'd given us another hand for the left side to hold one of the weapons, but these still look really cool. I really like the stitching detail over here. You get some nice black fading right over there. I think the wrinkles in it and everything, these are fantastic. They also give you some extra wrist pegs in case you break them and some extra buttons in case they fall off. Then you have these three larger buttons over here for when you remove the cape, you can replace those empty spots and I'll demonstrate that in a second. I'm a big fan of silver dry brushing and this gun has it all over the place. I love the way this is painted. I like the sculpt on it too. This is pretty awesome. You can see the skull and crossbones and gold right there. That looks amazing. It has this little function where you can push it in and out like that. I think that's pretty nice. And here's his rapier, which looks pretty amazing. I really like this glossy black paint that they use for the handle in this section right over here. And you can see some silver paint apps painted at the end right over there. I think that looks great. And then underneath over here, you can see the red painted underneath. I think that's really nice. And then you get the skull and crossbones right there. Now the computer animation for the Captain Harlock Space Pirate movie is actually very impressive. And it has a lot of details in the characters' likenesses and everything. And I think Hot Toys really captures that. You can even see the detail in his patch right over here. The scar looks great. I like the color variation on the flesh tone. The eye looks very realistic. You just get the one eye. As always, Hot Toys bring a lot of detail with their paint. Again, with the hair over here, I like how it's made out of a pliable material and you can actually see there's layers to the hair. I think that's a nice touch. I just really like how the brown and black are mixed in together over here. This is very well done. I'm just really digging this a lot. I love the details, man. I love the details. I just want to get a close shot of that scar. I really like it a lot. Not only was it painted very well, but I like how it's sculpted too. I like how the cape came out. You get some nice skull and crossbones right over there in gold. I really like how the collar is. It's made out of this pleather material. Again, skull and crossbones, tiny ones all over the place. And I don't know what this is made out of, polyester or something. I don't really know, but I really like how it's tattered at the bottom over here. And it's not all wrinkly and everything. That's another thing I really like. Is that it's a pretty smooth looking cape. Now, one gripe I do have with the cape, though, is I wish they had added the bendy wires along the side over here because Captain Harlock always does this you know this royal turnaround where the cape just whoosh goes around him as he walks off. I really wish they had added that. It would have been a lot of fun to be able to pose the cape. The instructions are pretty clear on how to remove this. There's some buttons right there that just come off. Then you have those buttons I was showing you earlier, and these all just fill in those empty gaps from the cape. The detail involved with the rest of this figure is remarkable, especially like this little dirt that they've added to the skull and crossbones over here. I think that's a very nice touch. I really like this kind of wash they have with the black over the gold section right over here. There's some gold deco going in and out throughout the entire figure. I like how his limbs are very lanky as he should be. 
so he's a very lanky character. I like how the buckles right over here aren't lined up perfectly. They have them asymmetrical as they should be. You get these little buttons all over the place, and I really like this material. On the black sections, it really helps with the articulation a lot. It makes the figure very poseable. I really like the sheaths for the rapier and the gun, though. I just really love all the color variation in this. This looks amazing to me. I love all that detail. I love that there's more than just two colors in there. It looks like we get greens, browns, yellows all mixed in there. I like how the belt looks right over here, too. The sheath looks very cool as well. I'm really digging this a lot. Nice gold paint right there. You can see the gold right there at the top of the boot and the zipper coming all the way down the side and you can see all that paint added right there. And especially looking at the boots right there, that's when you can really see that this is a quality figurine. Look at that, that is so realistic. The bottom of his feet don't have any sculpting on them, but they didn't spare the shadowing effect. And here's looking at the back of the figure. I think they did a really good job with this. Now the cape on the figure does restrict some head articulation, so you can't really get him to look up because of this collar over here, but without it he can, and I'll show that in a minute. He can look down just fine, and you can rotate his head left and right, and he does have a little bit of a neck pivot over here, but again, the collar does restrict that. The arms can move outward that much with the cape on, and they can rotate forward. What actually restricts the head from moving more upward is the gold collar piece, which is not removable. But you do get the neck pivot over here, which you really can't get with the cape on there, and the arms can move outward a little bit more, and they can move forward a little bit more without the cape. He does have an armpit joint in there. He has a bicep swivel. He bends at the elbow at 90 degrees. You can rotate at the elbow as well, and he does have wrists that move side to side and they hinge up and down. He has an ab crunching joint right over here and it can rotate at the diaphragm and it does have some pivot. Same thing with the waist joint. He can crunch forward and back at the waist, rotate side to side, and you get some waist pivot as well. His legs can move outward that much and he can kick forward quite a bit. He has an upper thigh rotation. He bends at the knee and I really like that the boots are made out of a soft rubbery material. I think that is great. And then he actually can move down, up, and he has a beautiful ankle pivot and rotate side to side at the ankle as well. Now Captain Harlock stands at about 13 inches tall. For a size comparison, here's Captain Harlock compared to Captain America. Hey, you're not the captain, I'm the captain. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I think this is a very cool figure. If you're a big fan of the 2013 movie or Captain Harlock in general, I think you'll really, really like this figure. Uh, my only real complaints is I wish that he did have a poseable cape. Anyway, that's my review, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and please hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe and check out ToyNewsEye.com for a full photo gallery of images and the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. As well. Well, well, he also has. Oh. <laughs>